Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. The big idea today is that it's really important for young scientists to build things and make changes to make those things work better. Scientists call that engineering. So today we have an engineering challenge. We're going to challenge you to build a balloon powered car. We're going to make that car and then show you two types. One type using recycled plastic bottles, another type using cardboard. So let's start building our car. What do we need? A plastic bottle, four lids, scissors, rubber band, balloon, pencil, and I have a little thumbtack stuck to the eraser of that pencil so I don't lose it. And I need three straws. Now, straws are a little tricky, two straws, but the one thing that's different about this straw is it actually is smaller than those other two and it fits inside. That's important. We'll need that in a second. Our first step is attaching the balloon to the straw. And there's nothing fancy. I'm going to slide the balloon, the neck of the balloon, over the end of the straw, take my rubber band, and now use the rubber band and keep twisting it and looping it over until it's tightly fastened to the straw. It's attached, but let's test it to make sure it holds air and nothing leaks out. Success. Step number two. I need to cut a hole in the bottle so that I can pass my straw through the bottle so it comes out the neck. Step number three. I now have the hole cut into my bottle. And step three says that I need to pass the straw through the hole out the neck of the bottle and I can see my car starting to take shape. On to step number four, making the wheels. I'm going to take this straw and cut it into smaller sections that are as wide as the bottle. Snip, snip. I have the start of two of my axles. The next step in making our wheels, take our final thinner straw and I'm going to cut it in half. And each half I'm going to put through the other clear axle that I made. And the thing to look the thing to look for is that they should spin freely. And it spins. So how do we attach our axle to our bottle cap wheel? Well, we need to make a hole, and then we need to make that hole bigger. How? Simple materials. We start with our thumbtack. We find pretty much the center of the bottle cap. We push it through. I like to use the pencil eraser to push that thumbtack back out. And I have a tiny, tiny hole. How do I make that hole bigger? This pencil, it actually gets wider. And all I'm going to do is make sure the pencil's sharp. And I'm going to twist it back and forth as I push. Not too hard. My hole is starting to get bigger. I'm pushing, and I have a widened hole. I'm going to just check to make sure the straw goes through. Oh, got to make it a little wider. Twist and my axle goes right onto my wheel. Step number five, attaching our wheels to our bottle. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape and all I'm gonna do is attach the tape to the back of the bottle, but I have to line it up with the straw. And what's really important is I want these wheels to be as straight as possible because my car won't go straight if my wheels aren't straight. eye it up, it looks pretty well lined up. Just attach the second wheel and I'm ready to roll. Step number six is testing our car to see how it works, if it works, and if, see if we need to make any changes. So how do we power it? We blow up our balloon. Hold the balloon and we'll see if it works. My car works. And really, the fun is just beginning, because now I can start to be a scientist. Think and wonder, how can I change the car I just built to make it work differently? This one. What if I change the size of my wheels? What if I add friction to those wheels by adding a rubber band to each wheel? Let's see how it works. Remember, this is the car with the bigger wheels with the rubber bands on the wheels. Let's test drive this baby. The questions don't stop there. One of my young scientists in my classroom started to wonder, well, 
what if I change the angle at which the air coming out of the balloon hits the table? That's great thinking. And all she needed to do to test that was a simple bendy straw, which allows me to change the angle so easily. Let's see it in action. Remember, this is the car that has the bendy straw on the end and it's angling the air down. Let's test driver. I have still another question. What happens if I don't use a bottle? What if I use something totally different, like cardboard? Here you go. On these cars, I use cardboard for the body of the car and cardboard for the wheels. This one, I tried a different axle. I used long wooden toothpicks called skewers. Let's see how they roll. Three, two, one. Let's try another one. Three, two, one. Another success. In my classroom, I have my young scientists build and design their cars, and when they're ready, we go out into a hallway, and it's time to race. We see which car can go the furthest, which one can go the fastest, and we have a lot of fun doing that. Scientists call that building and testing and remaking engineering. Kids can engineer. Science is so cool. Don't forget to check out our links in the video description. Thanks for watching.